hello and welcome to week two of our 10 minute tutorials. So last week we completed our first page and I've just put uh, an ephemeral card in the belly band. What I will do is I will back this one um, with card so that it's nice and firm in there. Oh, we'll put two in. So it'll be nice and firm in there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to stick this onto our book and then we're going to start the next page. So let me bring you down. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick this page into our book. So we need to make sure that we've got our front cover. So if you remember, we did two folds. We did a fold there and we did a fold there. So this bit is our front cover and this is going to be where our spine is made. So the front cover is the larger piece, the spine is the smaller piece. So if we lay it flat, you should see we've got the front cover, then we've got a little mountain fold, then we've got a valley fold, and then we've got the third of the score lines that we made. So if I bring it up, you'll hopefully be able to see there's a third score line and what we're going to do is we're going to butt the page up to that score line and that's going to give us a thickness for this actual page so we're going to put our glue on onto this glue tab so that the glue tab will then face away from the front page it sounds more complicated than it is so with the front, front page up, the glue is going to go along that tab. So what I'm going to do, if I can find, I'm going to use my glue tape along there. So that's going to give me quick stick. And then I'm going to use my wet glue to give me the longevity, but also the wriggle room. So, I'm going to fold that back. There's my score line, my third score line that I haven't folded. And I'm going to butt the edge of that up against my glue. And I'm going to stick my page down, making sure that it's level, top and bottom, and that it's straight. So, is it level, top and bottom? Is it straight? And then, I can turn this back, and there is, you should be able to see, my glue tab. And I'm just going to burnish that down so that it's nice and firm and in place. Okay, so that now is my front cover and my first page in. And then the next page will butt up against the glue line of this page so that we will always have that one centimetre gap. So we've used the third emboss line as the marker to stick the first page in. When we come to stick the next page in, we will use the end of that glue tab as the marker. So that's our first page complete. So now I want to start work on our second page and I'm going to get my page which is up here and the first thing I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to create an open gatefold so I have cut a square of slightly more than a square of black card and I've cut it at 17 centimeters I have then cut it down the middle so that I have two equal parts and I have scored 
at one centimeter and one centimeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my one centimeter lines and I am going to burnish those like that so they are nice and firm and really folded and then I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to burnish it, burnish it, burnish it, burnish it. Okay, so these in a moment will then sit in there, will fit and sit exactly like that. So before I do anything else, I am going to put my front covers onto here. So I've cut two pieces of patterned paper and I initially cut them at, let me just tell you exactly, I cut them at seven by 14 and a half so that they are just a little bit smaller so that we can burnish, so, so that we have a border all the way round. So I'm going to stick these on and I'm doing all of this before I connect the pages up. So I'm going to stick that one onto there like that so that you've got a nice border all the way around and then I'm going to do the same on this one. like that. So those are going to be my two flaps which are going to stick on like that. Now I want a way of closing them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pencil which is here somewhere and I'm going to mark at the halfway, so this is 15, so halfway is seven and a half. And then I'm going to get a hole punch and I'm going to create a small hole. And I want it, I've got my little measurements along there, so I want it at about a centimeter in. So on the halfway, about a centimetre in and I'm going to make a little hole so you can see my little hole and then what I've done is I've used again the cool cats and these are little closure dies and I've cut a circle a plain circle with a large outside one and then I've used the smaller one with a really nice whether you can see it but it's got a really nice um, stitched edge. And I've cut a piece of patterned paper in that and I'm going to stick those two together. So stick those two together. Like that, make sure it's nice and centered. So that I've created a little circular decorated button. And then I'm going to get my hole punch again and using the same small side. So this, this one is um, a crocodile, crocodile, and it's got two different size holes. So I want the smaller of the two. Just double check that, yes. And I'm going to go about a third of the way in and just make a little hole. I've just made a little hole in that and then somewhere on all of this mess, okay, I'll get a new one out, um, I'm going to use a, you can use a brad or you can use a split pin, whatever you want to use and we're going to attach that to our little hole like that 
and oops, open it up and attach it firmly so that that is sitting halfway across. So when we put the second half in, that's going to hold that in place until we want to open the door. And now, once we've done that, we can put the back pieces on. So I'm going to do this and this is going to cover up that split pin. But what I don't want to do is put glue over the split pin. So when I glue, I'm leaving that bit because I, otherwise the split pin won't, won't spin. And then I'm just going to put that over the top, making sure that your split pin is not showing. So I'm just going to burnish around that a little bit. Just make sure that's nice and firm. And that is my first door complete. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. So this one, I'm just going to put the back panel on like that, making sure it's up the right way. Whoops. And that's going to go on. Oops. Just get it straight. On like that. Still not straight, sorry. Let's come down a little bit. That's going to go on like that. And then we're going to stick these onto here. So we're going to put our glue. And again, what I'll do the speed is put that down because that will make it glue quicker. And then my wet glue on the top, which will hold it longer term. You're going to put it along the line of your crease for your page but make sure it doesn't go over the crease otherwise the page won't shut so you just need to just give it a check give it a really good push down and then this one put the glue there and we're going to put some glue down the side and then oh, done it the wrong way. I'll sort it. OK, and then that one is going to go right up to the edge. So right up to the edge and just making sure that it's straight top and bottom and then we can stick that down and I have just noticed that that is on the wrong way up so I will put that right and now when you close it your little tab will just fold over and hold it in place and it will hold it in place okay so that is first part of your second page made. So tomorrow we will look at decorating the inside. See you tomorrow.